chapter 2.2, we're going to be graphing parabolas in vertex form and standard form. So vertex form is f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And then a can't be 0, and the reason why is because that would cancel this all out, and then we would just be left with k, which is a different type of function. An axis of symmetry is a line that divides a parabola into mirror images and passes through the vertex. Because a vertex of f of x equals, well, f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k is hk, the axis of symmetry is a vertical line x equals h. Previously used transformations to graph quadratic functions in vertex form, you can also use the axis of symmetry and the vertex to graph quadratic functions written in vertex form. So we're going to use symmetry to graph quadratic functions in vertex form. The first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and identify our constants. This is negative 2. And then so inside here, remember the formula. That is actually a negative 3 because we, knew, we know that it moves to the left 3. Then we have our k value at the end, which is a positive 4. So we know that our vertex, um, but what's nice about vertex form is that we can read the vertex. So our vertex is at negative 3, 4. Our axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3. So we can plot that, the axis of symmetry of negative 3. Our vertex is on that line at negative 3, positive 4. Then we can evaluate the function for two values. So this is just one of the ways to do it, and depending on what your teacher wants you to do. Um, what we want to do is you pick numbers that are close to the vertex. So if we have the number negative 3 here, we can choose negative 2, and then we can choose negative 1, which is what I put here. So we can evaluate for those two things. So let's just go ahead and do f of negative 2. So we take that x value and plug it into the original and solve. So this is negative 2 times negative 2 plus 3 squared plus 4. So you get negative 2 times 1 squared plus 4. Remember the order of operations, you have to do the exponent first, don't multiply. So this becomes negative 2 times a positive 1 plus 4. Negative 2 plus 4 is a positive 2. So therefore, we know that if we plug in negative 2, we get a positive 2. So left 2, up 2. We can use the axis of symmetry to reflect that. So if it's 1 away from the axis of symmetry, it's 1 away on the left side. And there it is. Then we can plug in negative 1 and solve. Um, and then, so let's just do that. Plug it in. f of negative 1, that's negative 2 times negative 1 plus 3 squared plus 4. So negative 2 times 2 squared plus 4. You square first, so it's negative 2 times a positive 4 plus 4. So that becomes negative 8 plus 4, or a negative 4. So if we plug in negative 1, we would have negative 4. And we plot that and reflect it over the axis of symmetry. So here is the graph. Now another way to do this is to apply the pattern. So parabolas always, math always has patterns. And so with a parabola, it's always 1, 3, 5. Now the only thing we have to remember is that we have to multiply whatever our a value is in front to give us our next points. So our next points would be negative 2, negative 6, and negative 10. So remember how you use the pattern. It's right 1, and then whatever's next, right 1, and then right 1. So in this case, uh, these numbers here tell me I go right 1, and then down 2, right 1, down 6, and right 1, down 10. So the negative means down. So just to show you what that looks like, you start at the vertex. You go right 1, down 2, and that is where we calculated that point. And that's where you plot a point. Then you go right 1, down now 6, and notice that it is right here. So instead of having to plug in these numbers, which you still could do, um, you could apply the pattern of 1, 3, 5, and then multiplying whatever a value is to it. Okay, so it's just a shortcut. 
It's also a way to verify that you plugged in the numbers correctly, uh, but it's just one way to do it. So why don't you go ahead and try this example here. Uh, graph the function f of x equals negative 3 x plus 1 squared. Identify the vertex, draw your axis to symmetry, and either evaluate for two more points, um, or you can use the pattern. Okay, so if you try this out, your vertex is, you can identify that as negative 1, and then there's nothing at the end, 0. Your axis of symmetry is just that x value of the vertex at x equals negative 1. Then I did the pattern, so I used 1, 3, 5, multiplied my a value of negative 3 to the front. So I would get negative 3, negative 9, negative 15. So I started from my vertex, and then I did right 1, down 3, and then I could go right 1, down 9. Now if you have to plug in values to find those numbers, then I plugged in 0, which is right next to the vertex. And when I plugged in 0, I would get negative 3. Then I plugged in 1, because it's another point away from the vertex, and then I would get a negative 12. So I hope this helps out. Thanks for watching.